Hi everyone, I'm back with a mini album and I work on this mini album from the Lady Culture Die Cuts with the View paper line and I'm about 95% sure that I'm done with this. I didn't decorate the front. I left it pretty plain because of the paper. It's so detailed and I just really like it so I kind of don't want to really hide it. I might just put like a little title here for the person I'm giving it to. And, um, and I'll just probably just leave it like that. So just do like a little plaque or something like that. But this is the front of it. It's actually, and I'm going to add some trim. I didn't get, or some ribbon or something. I just haven't had a chance to do that. But, because I wanted to show you. I was so excited to just show it off. <laughs> um, and so I'm really excited about this. And so this is the front page. And there's about five sheets to it. So let me just show you. It's pretty thick. So just for five sheets, it came out really thick, which is fine. So and it stands up on its own. And I'm sorry, I'm trying to record on, this is not the desk I usually scrapbook in. This is my computer desk. But um, I'm trying to make the best out of it. <laughs> so this is the first page. And this is from the Crit Cut. I used the Heritage or the Sentimental. So I'm going to be referring to that. And I also use French Manor. But um, I'll be referring, I'm not sure which cartridge it was. I think this is the Heritage, but anyhow. So sorry about that, ladies. That I should have wrote it down when I was doing this. But here's a little um, flower I did. I cut it out with a Tim Holtz flower die. And I just kind of pretty much burned the edges so it's brown. And here, it's this is from the Pearl Pens. So, um, I, this is the first time I'm using it. I bought them at the Expo. I have a haul video showing those. And I really like how they turned out because I was trying to do my own little swirls here going on. The only thing is that I kept touching it and I kept flattening them out. So, I need to be a little bit more patient. Here's um, a stamp. I stamped it with the Tim Holtz um, Distressing Vintage. Here's another frame. And I left it pretty much open from the top. That way they could slip in a picture. And this has dimensionals on it. Again, the paper line in the background is all from Die Cuts with the View Lady Kosher. Kosher. I'm not sure how to say that correctly. Here's some trim. Let's see if you can see that. Okay. I'm trying to make sure I get some lighting going on here. And this, this is a chair. I'm sorry. From, again... Heritage or Sentimentals, one of those cartridges from the Cricut. Here's another page, and I'm just, I'm really kind of excited how this turned out. Um, this is the Tim Holtz um, sewing line. Here's a crochet flower and some bling to it. Some trim. This was actually white, and I just kind of blended it with um, vintage photo. Here's a rosette charm and more of that um pearl pens and I use sorry I use the pearl pens here at the top as well and that's a blue color so I made this like a side pocket so I'm just gonna pull it out and I'm recording from my iPhone so I don't have my tripod I have to bear with me <clears throat> so here's the stamp and just it kind of just goes through you could do some journaling, some photos in here. And if you look at this, the dress form, there's about four pieces on here. So it makes it look a bit dimensional. It's sticking out. So I did that and then I added like a beige paper and just kind of um, ink the edges. So it just kind of gives it dimension without the pop dot. So it's, I glued it on. Here's another one. So, um, ribbon rosette, another charm, some lace here, and this is ribbon that I just pretty much ruffled with the hot glue gun. So it just kind of gives it a little bit more dimension. Here's one. This is from this is from Sentimentals because of the envelope. So I know that for sure. Sorry about the lighting. It looks good if I'm looking at it, but not on camera. <laughs> Here's some um, flowers. Oh my gosh, I just totally lost. I got blanked what it's called. But anyway, some of these. <laughs> some 
envelope and again the paper is just awesome it just coordinates so beautiful there's another layout and again I left this open from the top that way the picture can be slipped on or glued on here oops sorry just here's flowers from I am roses here's um a button this is actually a button I cut the back of it and I added a bling to it I got these buttons that from this place that I usually go to and the bling that they sell coordinates with the button so pretty awesome and he, this is from French Manor and I just went ahead and embossed it and here's another one just a little doodas do dots <laughs> um, here's it's this flower it's gold rose and I just add some more little bling at the side some pearls fat flat back pearls crown a keyhole and here's the um, spool and added some what's it called oh my gosh some sewing ribbon I guess I'm not sure and I just kinda it's white and I went over it with the olive green or olive color for the distress to make it just kinda go with the paper so that's all I have and this is the back so it, go, it goes along with the front and um, this is so far what I've done if you have any questions or anything like that I saved most of my files to the gypsy so I can go through them and look for them to see which one was from that cut but anything else just don't forget to comment or subscribe if not have a good night or a great day bye